today. Today we are gonna check out a, basically it's a doorknob with a lock and a keypad. It also has Bluetooth and it also does come with a set of keys. So what's cool about this is say if you have a closet in your house or a basement area that you don't want people to have access to, you just simply have a keypad on here, kind of like the front door deadbolts. This one you can use on any door handle anywhere in your house and I'll show you that. I'll show you how to install this, how easy it is to use, and I'll give you my honest opinion and tell you if I think it's worth it. This guy runs about a hundred bucks. I got a $30 off coupon making it $70 on Amazon. And uh, this is gonna be my honest review. Let's go ahead and check out what you get and I'll show you more about the product. This guy comes with a 50 year warranty. That's pretty interesting. Here is some templates that you're gonna put on the back of your door in case your hole that this goes through for some reason is bigger. Of course, it comes with instructions. And this is the brush nickel. And it's just simply a doorknob with a keypad into your code, and that's gonna unlock it for you. Otherwise, you simply cannot open the door does come with a keyed access point. Also, if these batteries happen to die, you can also hook up a battery pack with micro USB and it'll give power to it that way. Very simple. I think it's a good looking unit overall. And I will show you how to install it real quick and then we'll do a quick demo and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. Here's all the hardware, the accessories, the screws, assistance tool to get to the battery compartment. And let me go ahead and set up and I'll show you how easy this is to install. Then we'll do a quick demo. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I already took my old doorknob off and it comes with these kind of silver pieces that if, in case this hole isn't perfectly sized. So you can see mine is a little bit of a dirt mark from where the other circular cover went. So you could put this up, but I, I don't know. I don't really like the looks of it. And then this would go in like so. Then you have kind of this weird, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but I'm gonna try using it without it. Cause this will cover most of it and I'll just clean that mark off. I think that looks better than with the silver. What do you guys think? So let me go ahead and show you how to install this. It should be pretty easy. Of course you have the main locking part now. My cutout was from a quick set. So this more has like curved edges. So this one's straight. So hopefully if I screw this in, it's thin enough to where it's just gonna work. Otherwise I'm gonna have to get a chisel and cut around this a little bit more. So I'm gonna try first without having to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this part installed. Now here's where you would put your stickers on once again. Not a fan of it. So I'm gonna do without. Totally up to you guys. Start by putting in this lock. Simply grab your other handle, line it up with the other side. Alrighty, so as you can see I got that installed. Pretty easy to do overall. Took maybe five minutes. Uh, without a key or the code, this simply spins and you can't open this thing whatsoever. So it's going to be the same as if I just enter the code, but I will show you that in just a second. Let me just show you real quick what the key does. Put the key in and that'll engage it. And now as you can see, that's how the lock works. So pretty cool. All right, so this guy runs off of four AAA batteries. Very easy to install, just slide them in. You just pop off this plastic cover. And then it'll lock into place. They also do give you some little screws to put here. So it's not so easily accessible for the battery cover. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to put in your own code and make this lock work. Kind of funny in the instructions. Number one, passcode introduction. Totally, you can set 10 passcodes. I don't know why it says totally, but that's pretty funny. I think they just meant total, but being a Chinese company, some of the language is definitely off in the pamphlets and stuff. All right, 
looks like I just added a password. So let's see if that worked. It should just be six ones. Let's find out. There we go, unlocked, cool. Now you can turn the handle in about five seconds or so, maybe 10. It should return handle, make it free. <laughs> so as you can see now, nobody can get in there. So pretty cool, let me go ahead and shut the door, make sure everything's lined up and works good, and then I'll show you one more time how it works, then I'll tell you overall what I think of it. All right guys, so as you can see, this closet is now locked. You cannot get in this without a key, passcode, or I can also connect this to the app and work with this over Bluetooth. I'll do that in a separate video if you guys would like. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you want to see the Bluetooth video. I can just do a really quick video on that in case somebody wants to see that. So once again, the code is six ones. So you have to hit the lock button. Lock button again, and now it should be unlocked. And there we have it. Now you're into the very expensive closet that has a bunch of junk in it. So I think pretty cool. If you were say a famous YouTuber like myself, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but say if I was and I had $10,000 worth of cameras and stuff and all that expensive gear. And I mean, this would be a great closet for me to use and you're not gonna be able to get into it all that easy compared to another doorknob that typically have the little hole here and you can just put pretty much anything in there and turn it and it's gonna unlock it if it's let me know what you guys think I, I think for 70 bucks it's pretty cool it looks like it's really well made the metal is nice and strong it doesn't really look like they made it cheap in any way um so far i like it All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you do want to see anything else about this one, please let me know. I'll put a link down in the description if you are interested. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a fantastic day, and don't forget to leave a like and uh, hit that subscribe button on your way out. See ya.